Hello! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's your girl Ali from Home Job Success with Ali. How are you all doing? I just want to say Happy New Year to you all and I wish you all the best for 2020. All right, this is it now. This is going to be my year in review, right? So when you're seeing this video, it's gonna already be 2020. All right, so what I'm going to be reviewing is things that have been happening in my life and things that I've been doing for 2019 and the results that I have um, seen. And then moving on into 2020, things that I want to accomplish and things that I will not be bringing over from 2019 over into 2020 because some things in 2019 don't deserve to come over into 2020 <laughs> right cool all right so first of all I've been through a lot in 2019 and when I say a lot I mean a lot both personal and um, just things in general right and things which I've seen happening to people which I would not want for that to happen to myself. So because of that, I've basically been preparing myself so those things, they don't reach me any at all. All right? So one of the things that I want to talk about that happened in 2019 is um, where I would say I, I was starting to give up on myself give up on the things that I know that I I can conquer and things that I know that I can overpower I actually let negativity got the best of me right and that I'm not going to bring that over into 2020 none at all right so I have basically um, worked on myself self-development guys it is so very important and it is it it helps a lot self-development people always talk about all these self-development gurus and whatever listen you can go on youtube just like you're on youtube now listen to all of those motivational um audios and you are able to take what you want to take out of it for yourself and work on yourself there's nothing wrong with working on yourself in order for you to be better in life you need to work on yourself first of all before you start working on people all right the next thing is that i started a couple businesses um both in 2019 and 2018 um they actually took off but then things happened where we had to basically stop those those businesses and i thought to myself that but you're somebody who is always out there always looking for something new why did you allow distraction you know to stop you from doing what you were doing you know and because of that i thought about it a lot and i said come 2020 nothing is going to be distracting me come 2020 right i'm going full force head on nothing at all can stop me for 2020 and you know I, i've been thinking about it a lot and i said a lot of people they're going to be saying i want them to sheen at 2020 but hello i don't care what you want to say because 2020 i am going to be becoming whatever that I want to become the woman that I see in my dream, right? That is the person who is going to be coming out of 2020 going into 2021. And another thing, guys, I learned about affirmation. The more you have affirmations and you repeat them daily, that is what will actually help you to develop more. You know, um, if you have your dreams, if you see yourself in a dream car, if you see yourself doing certain things or accomplishing certain things, talk yourself into it until it actually happens. Guys, I'm talking from experience. It will happen, right? Talk to yourself um, about that. Write them down. Put them somewhere where you can see them. So each time you see it, you just start repeating it there's the subconscious mind it is a very very helpful right so affirmations guys bring that over into 2020 and you'd be amazed to see what happened another thing um that i also wanted to talk about is the tongue guys 
the tongue. Anything that you talk to yourself about or you tell yourself that you cannot or you talk negatively overall about yourself, it will take a toll on you. It will happen. So, guys, the tongue is very powerful. Be careful of what you talk about yourself be careful of what you talk about people anything that you don't like for yourself don't do it to nobody don't say it to anybody else right so please that is one of the things that i'd like to um just share with you guys what else that i'd like to share with you guys um also one of the companies that i started i took i started it last year so i took between January and December, so one full year, I took that time out to um, go about self-development. I spoke about this earlier on, but this is important to me because with this new company that I'm a part of now, with the self-development that I have received with this company, it's top-notch right and it i've seen changes in me in myself and also my husband also have seen the changes and he even made mention to me about it the other day we were at a function and then he was like ali you realize that you are you know and then i was like thank you because other persons have been telling me as well but i am not realizing that that is happening but the thing about it you see when you're changing you will know sometimes but not to the full extent you won't know that you're actually changing it's persons who are out there who will realize what's happening right and they will let you know and people don't think that people not going to check, check they're not going to keep you abreast of what you're doing because they're the ones who are out there they are seeing you they know what you're capable of doing and when they see changes in you they're going to talk about it they're going to call you out whether it want to be good or bad so anything you practice make sure <laughs> that you preach it as well all right yes and another thing that i want to talk about guys is your energy yes your energy always have a good energy around you what I do when I wake up in the morning I go on YouTube and I listen to some of these motivational speakers one of the biggest one is TD Jakes that I listen to and I listen to Les Brown and there's also this other um, gentleman his name is jo um, Josh Valentine I talk about his work many times many times I talk about it because he is he is coming across based on where he is coming from he's from humble beginnings and these persons who i listen to they're also from humble beginnings and where they are now in life that is where i want to be so that is why i'm always listening to them and i'm being mentored by them not because i'm not directly there in their face i'm not connected to them via a phone call but by social media, I'm able to communicate with them and get whatever um, teachings they are putting out there. So I am able to, to implement that into my day-to-day -day life, right? Um, when, I said to, um, when I talk about guarding your, your energy, not everybody you're to allow to tell you things sometimes you have to block out the negativity that's going on the noise which is out there you have to block that out guys because you have to preserve what's happening around you when you surround yourself by nine negative people you become the tenth negative person you know so you have to make sure that you guard put up a guard put up a blocker um, the other day I was at one of the, the, the trainings, the self-development training. And you know what the guy said? You need to purge out some of the people in your, in, your, in your space. Some persons who no longer serve you any purpose. They're not contributing to you, whether positively or no form of upliftment. Purge them out. Put them on sale. You understand? Yes, he said, put them on sale. Get rid of them out of your life. You know, if they say, oh, you cut them off or you change and whatever, say yes, you have changed. 
because you're going somewhere you know where you're going and obviously they is either they don't know where they're going or they just feel comfortable being stuck wherever they are but because that is not you and you don't want to be there you just move forward and 2020 guys everybody talking about 2020 vision you need to see the vision for yourself you need to know where you're going so you know how to move forward all right um also another thing that i am taking over into 2020 and josh valentine even said that as well he said raise your rent when he said that i was like raise your rent what the hell is he talking about guys raising your rent meaning not everyone should have access to you remember when you're living in the garrison or you're living in the projects as they call it overseas every and anybody have access to coming into that community every single soul it no matter who they can just walk in like that and do anything they feel like doing when i heard josh said raise your rent and then he started to explain it saying not everybody deserves to have your access not everybody's supposed to have access to you i start to think about it and i say that is so true look at jay-z look at beyonce you understand look at mark zuckerberg look at all of those people we can't just take up the phone and call them even if we send a message to them via facebook or whatever they are not the ones who are replying to their instagram or their twitter they have an assistant who is replying they have an assistant who is dealing with all their social media right so they might be just choose a few things out of it and then they'll bring it to their attention and then they are able to to reply to them or they probably just go there go through their social media and they choose which ones they want their assistant to reply to you understand so we have to have that mentality even now look at it persons who are living in gated communities persons who are living in apartment complex who are living in penthouse guys <laughs> you can't just enter like that for a gated community you have to have the the button to press to enter that community that means not everybody have access to it not everybody is able to live in that community because the rent there is expensive that should be us our brain space must be limited to certain amount of people and certain type of people if you live in a penthouse just to come get um, to your penthouse there you have to go through a bellman through a doorman you cannot just go in and knock at the door like that so that is how our lives should be and going into 2020 guys that is the concept the vision that i am going into 2020 in all right and i'm just gonna keep this very short because you know nothing long you know and as i said before i've been through a lot in 2019 things that i've been through in 2019 i'm not going to go through them in 2020 because if they do come my way in 2020 i'm not even going to look because what i have a vision tunnel vision 2020 vision right not everybody is going to have access to me those who are around me and they have access to me that is where it stops the circle is going to be this large right so that is what you need to do guys find a way in which you can go about in um you know just motivating yourself some of you who um you're not self-motivated find a group of people who are like-minded who are able to motivate you for you to move forward see if you can get into that circle of persons who want the same thing as you want right guys and also try to see if you can read more books 
I did not like to read until I'm a part of this company and I realized everybody is reading. When I check it out and I start look at persons who I want to mentor me, I realize they're saying, read books, which books are you reading? And they're always, whenever they're on stage, they're always talking about the books that they are reading or the books which they have read and stuff like that. And guys, from I started to read, I realized that I'm developing certain skills, right? And I'm developing certain, just certain personal things have been changing for me as well. And if it can happen for me, it can happen for other persons, it can happen for you. So although today might be a couple days into 2020, it's never too late for you to start. Every day is a new day. So every day you can hit that reset button on your life and move forward, right? So that's it for me, guys. And as, I'm, as I've said before, enjoy your 2020. Have a vision, have some goals. If you need to do a vision board, go ahead, do the vision board, guys. It works. I am a product of the vision board. It will work. Guys, think positive. Know who you are allowing around you. Do not let everybody have access to you. And just be the best you that you can be. All right? If you want to reach out to me, guys, you can reach out to me on Instagram. My handle is at no to 9 to 5 On Facebook, it's Ali Keys Noble. And also here on YouTube. I'm going to leave the links below as well so you can always hit me up. All right? And anything you want to comment on, go ahead. Just leave the comment there. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> Take care, guys. And thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Have a productive 2020. Peace.